Hello everybody, today I thought we'd just kind of do another Breed Out the Weird challenge. Now, I have Maleficent Moors, and I actually really love this sim. Uh, a YouTuber, Tommy Lynn, created her. She's doing a sim, uh, a Disney save, a uh, Disney sim save. And um, it's pretty cool, but Maleficent's always struck me as a, a little weird. But then again, what Disney villain isn't, like with her little... I don't know, she's just strange. She's got them point. She's got like, I, well, actually, I actually really like the pointed ears, but she's got like just the skin, the look. Like, I love Maleficent, but she's just strange. Like, her. I don't know, her hatred over like that invite. Something about Maleficent. She's strange to me. Um, so I figured she'd be perfect. I mean, she's, she's different looking. Uh, maybe. I actually hope the future generations will keep the pointed ears uh maybe we'll get rid of like the green skin you know the the eyes them eyes that be looking real aggressive uh we're gonna drop in this sim by mary lee 97 uh to start off we're gonna merge and uh we're, we're gonna play with their genetics a little he looks like he was meant to be a rock star. I feel so bad for him, you know, but he looks like, I don't know. M maybe he's like a kind of, uh, I, I feel like he would get with Maleficent. So I've done that one. We're going to probably press the button five times. So I've done it about once or twice. Three, four, five. And we've gotten rid of the green skin, which is kind of, kind of cool. Now, if I put a different hair on her, it's, it's, it's a her, right? Yeah, it's a her. I feel like Maleficent would get real aggressive if, like, you weren't nice to her kid. I, I get that feeling. But then again, Maleficent, she, she's aggressive in general. You know, I did watch... Uh, Disney Descendants, and I feel like they did real good there. That that was, it was a good movie. I don't know. I, I liked it for whatever reason. Um, I don't know what other people think about it, but I'm just a Disney fan in general, so I was entertained. It, it wasn't bad for a Disney movie. I kind of like those socks. Okay. We got her, uh, Honestly, I'm gonna go hot headed. We'll make her creative. And then I, I'm aging her up anyway, so I don't know why I bothered to give her traits. But you know what? I feel like we'll, we'll let her be creative. Uh, she can be confident, and we'll just. I was gonna say, we'll just randomize that last trait. No, we won't. Uh. She she can be confident. I mean, she's got Maleficent watching her back. I feel like she would be. And then she can be outgoing. I actually really like that top. I didn't even realize that was that that was in the game. Actually, no. I think I, I saw it before, and I wasn't paying attention or something. I like this shirt though. And if I were to give her some jeans, what would she look like then? Maybe some jeans. Let's say maybe maybe a fun pair of shoes. Maybe not those jeans. I'm gonna go for jeans with her. Probably just go for these. They're they're nice and simple. And let, let's put a different hair. I do like that hair a little. I don't know if I feel like she'd... Okay, I kind of like the blue just because... Look, I feel like she, she would have kept something from Maleficent there. I 
I'd go with the black. That's actually a cute snip. I really like her. I like her little elf ears. What do I want to give her a name? Molly. Molly. Uh, actually, let's do... Actually, I like Molly. And we know it would have Maleficent's last name. There we go. Molly Moores. And then we've got to, uh, well, we've got to get rid of him here. Bye, Tony. I feel like his genetics show, show, they show through. Okay, so we need a household. Who are we doing next? I feel like Maleficent, uh, she'd be picky about. Oh, look, Miss, Mr. Brightchester, Jer Jeffrey Brightchester. That's the name of that, uh, of that, uh, university in The Sims. And, um, I feel like Maleficent, yeah, she, she'd want her kid to, to be with, uh, somebody, like, important in the town. Two, three, four, five. Oh. I like his look. Why is he giving me Aladdin vibes? Mm, I, I don't I don't know about them vibes here. M maybe some blue socks. Yeah, that works. He, he can be a little gloomy. I mean, I'd be gloomy too if Maleficent was my my grandmother there. I don't. I I don't know. We'll make him a goofball, and we'll make him active because he's definitely got some Aladdin something going on. I feel like he'd be dreaming for his soulmate. I mean, look. He's got Maleficent as a grandmother. Once again, I feel like he, he's doing some soul searching somewhere. He's a, he's a muscular little uh, sim, too. Is that... Mm, he, he lost some of his Aladdin vibes, though. Well, I liked him better as a kid. Do do like that top though. Uh, but I might change the color. Okay, I like the red. Red's kinda nice. Uh, maybe I'm just a fan of red in general, though. I mean, look, the the work boots, they're, they're a thing where I live. Every guy's got, like, a work boot or something. Um, so I think, I think I'm going with the work boot. M maybe not that shirt, though. Shirt I'm, I'm feeling anymore. Uh. 
you know what? Just just the black is fine. We'll, we'll go with the black. There, he's got his little black boots, and we'll say goodbye to Mr. Jeffrey Brightchester. I feel like he added some muscle there for sure. And then let's see. We need a pretty, pre pretty lady here. I like her. We'll merge her in. And then we'll play with genetics. And we'll do him. One, two, three, four, five. She's got some blue, blue eyes. Oh, feeling like Moana over here for her, her clothing style. Maybe no socks. I feel like she's a child of the ocean. And then we will say goodbye to Nicoletta Covington, her mother, real quick before I age her up and see what she looks like. Make her a young adult. I feel like she wants to have some sort of vibe. Uh, beach life over here. I'm gonna give her like the self-assured and maybe she can be creative I get. No, I feel like cheerful. She can be cheerful and creative. I'm gonna name him Paul. There's Paul Brightchester and she can be um Marianne. Oh, sounds like a nice name. I like those earrings. And now she's giving me Pocahontas and not like... Maybe it's the necklace. She's she's giving me some sort of Pocahontas vibe now. I'm, I don't know, my mind's going from one Disney movie to another. I'm over here, like, taking Maleficent and, uh, her jeans and trying to turn her legacy into Disney princess over here. Can we go from strange Maleficent to, like, a Disney princess-looking sim towards the end? So that's kind of what I'm hoping. Ooh, I like that top. Th that's just a pretty top. Kind of like it in the white. It, it, it's, it's just a striking top. I kind of want to just give her like some... Well, those work. I don't know, she's striking too. Huh. Maleficent has good genetics, what do you know? Or at least her offspring over here do. She is striking. Maleficent here. 
who's honestly a pretty good creation of Maleficent in The Sims. Not not bad at all. And then we've got like Mary Ann here, who is just utterly stunning for a Sim. I don't. I feel, I feel like I've accomplished something already here. We went from Maleficent with the green skin to like Pocahontas over here. Honestly, I should I should have been like named her Pocahontas there. Let's see. I'm gonna throw in one more Sim, and hopefully it just it just stays like that. Like the genetics don't change too much. Bankhead. Yeah, sure, we'll merge you. I mean, I've got to delete your dog, mister. I think the dog's adorable there. And then let's play with genetics. Preferably uh, not Maleficent. With him over there. And honestly, I'm going to go for a girl. One... Two, three, four. I think I like that hair. Maybe the pink sweater there. Actually, I don't know if I've ever used that, like, purpley kind of. Thing there. But I might use it today. Oh, I like those socks. Okay, and we'll give her a random... Uh, a random trait. She can be a little bookworm. And will a direct to young adult. Uh, Mr. Ar Arm... Arm Milo Bankhead has to go. Th thank you, good sir. Um... Oh, she's pretty. I don't actually know what hair I want to use. Okay, she reminds me, um... It was that Netflix show. I, I might actually have to, to Google it. Bridgerton. Bridgerton. She reminds me of, like, the queen in Bridgerton when you put that hair on her. I absolutely love that. And I might do... Romantic and creative. And, I mean, hey, she can be a master chef. I want to know what the queen's name in Bridgerton was. I, like, watched that in one day. I streamed the whole, whole season. So I'm going to do Charlotte. She can be... Charlotte. I, I like that. And uh I don't I don't actually know what I'm gonna put her in for like
clothing. But I, I don't know. I feel like Maleficent has uh, has made it. I feel like she she'd be quite happy with her uh, her uh, children and their children. I mean, maybe maybe not that none of them have like particularly awful traits. Uh, but I, I still think uh, she'd be pleased. Okay, those pants are way overly dramatic. They're like ballooning out. I like those. I wonder if there's like a, a top that like would go nicely with those. Oh, she's got those real, uh, teal-y kind of eyes. Uh, I kind of like that shirt. Some of these clothes I've never actually noticed before. Like I was looking at uh, those pants over there and I was like, I don't think I've actually ever used them. That's a nice skirt too. I like a good motorcycle jacket. I own one, which I, I kind of ought to get out again soon. And and wear. It's nothing like a good motorcycle jacket. I don't know what top I want to put on her at all. Oh, I like the pink. The, the pink is the pink is speaking to me. I, I like it with that skirt. Now for shoes. Do a yellow. We got some yellow shoes there. Maybe just the white there, and maybe like a little white white jacket and her little hair all up. She really does look like Queen Charlotte with that hair. I could change the hair into something like a little, little more modern. You know? Well, I like that hair on her too still. I like that one. I like that one best. She's so cute, little Charlotte Covington. Okay, I think Maleficent, it turns out, she's got really good genetics. And on that note, I think I finished up. 
I mean, I, I like I like the way The Sims turned out. Maleficent, she's got like gorgeous granddaughters here. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like I, I'm surprised that like more of Maleficent and like the yellow eyes and the green skin and you know like the pointed face didn't come through more or like the super arched eyebrows none of them really have like high arched eyebrows and actually i mean the facial structure changed a lot from like maleficent here so i think i had fun with that goodbye everyone